bootleg slash knockoff uh, Lego of uh, Game of Thrones. This time from XINH, and this is set number X0135. And if you remember previously, Pogo released a, a nine figure pack. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, no, 12 figure pack of Game of Thrones characters. And uh, all of these characters here in front of you were also released by uh, the Pogo stuff. And it seems that they are copying whatever source there was. So they are wearing the same sort of design on each of these characters. And uh, so we're going to be comparing uh, if these will be better than the Pogo stuff. For one thing, there are more characters than the Pogo ones. So even if you do get this and think this one is better, you still got to go back and get the Pogo set. Uh, for the remaining characters if you want to have the extras. Once again, the weapons here, the swords and the spears are... Well, this spear is hard, this one is soft, and this sword here is rubbery. Hmm, very inconsistent. Uh, this crossbow is hard. Oh, this black sword here is also very rubbery. The fabric on all these figures are one, two, three. Three of these guys have fabric. Uh, all of them have a shiny side and a furry underside. And uh, they are more durable than the Pogo stuff. The Pogo stuff, you can just pull it and you rip it. Um, maybe not kids, but um, anyone above 10 years old can probably rip it off and break it. And uh, it's as soft as the new Lego caves, but um, I would say they're less stretchy. They don't stretch like the new Lego caves do. Well, I'll take a first uh, look at the first four characters here, and um, yep, yeah, they all look pretty identical at first glance to the Pogo stuff. The print details are pretty good. Uh, the torso on this guy is just white torso, but he does have arm printing on the side right there. And of course the rest of the details are all on the armor that he's wearing right now. And um, I will say this, the details, the gold details here on him do look a little bit sharper. Uh, he does have uh, full black legs there. And... Um, uh, Yep, none of them have second face prints, and his face a little bit printed too high, so that's a little bit weird. But um, we'll see that uh, some of them have back body prints, like him and her. So I'm just going to have to... Uh. Again, once again, XINH, they have a little bit of trouble with heads getting stuck in the hair piece. So, especially with her, I can't really... Pull her hair on an angle, so her hair's gonna be her head's a bit stuck right now. Oh well, and uh, he doesn't have any back print because the body armor is just so gray on the back. But when I turn him around, you'll see that he actually uses dual plastic molding like official Lego. That's pretty <laughs> pretty amazing for bootlegs to catch up so quick with that. That's uh, pretty cool. And the back print also pretty detailed, and so that, that's great. Now, I don't know how well these dual molding things will uh, last compared to LEGO stuff, and if you don't know what that is, uh, since a year, about a year ago, LEGO started doing dual, dual molded arms and then legs uh, afterwards. It's where they uh, inject two different colored plastics into the mold at the same, roughly around the same time so that they hit each other at the same point. And what this does is it means that uh, they don't have to paint the arms or the legs uh, another color. And it means if you scratch the, you know, the other color, it won't scratch away and reveal the original plastic color underneath. So you can have black and white arms and it's literally molded that way. And so far, they haven't like broken or snapped off or anything where, where the two different colors join. So that's great for Lego's part, but I'm, I'm very curious as to how long these will last, uh, the bootleg stuff, but um, it does feel quite secure. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they took this directly from the Lego molds, from the Lego factories that are now in China. So really, all these bootlegs with advanced quality these days, it's Lego's own fault for opening factories in China. Because, eh? you know, copyright doesn't really exist in China. Next four characters up here, and uh, again they follow very closely the Togo stuff. Uh, one improvement with him is that uh, the uh, the shorter one has actual articulated legs, unlike the Pogo one, which uh, used the standard sort of Lego short legs. So there's no articulation in there. All the head prints and stuff are all pretty decent, and there's a little bit of detail, just single color printed there. Not sure what the point is. And for this character, uh, the Pogo one has side printing all over the slope piece that they use for a leg as well as hat arm printing, so both of them have arm printing, but this one doesn't have a side printing. However, this one has back printing on the slope and the back of the body, so I guess it's like choose which one you would prefer. Do you want side printing or back printing? Uh, they don't have both, which is really annoying. Look at the back of all of them. 
uh, no print on these two guys, so who cares? But uh, he does have print. They're just very basic, so cloth fold print, nothing too special. Say one more thing about this character, uh, is that this joint here is way better than the Poker ones. The Poker ones always fall off so easily, whereas this one actually stays on pretty well. Look, I'm like flicking it, but it's not coming off. So that's good also the SANH with their better clutch. I think the problem with the Pogo one was A, the clutch was very good, and B, the studs were very thin. I think this one's almost just as thin, but the clutch is way better. You can see inside there, they actually follow uh, the Lego X shape for their clutch system. So uh, the molding, uh, the mold is way more similar to official Lego stuff, which makes it a lot better. There you go, I would still have to recommend the Pogo stuff over the XNH one because it has more characters. I will say I do prefer the printed detail and the dual molded legs on this guy instead of the really flimsy uh, fabric that they have for the Pogo one. And um, I guess I kind of do prefer some of the printed details here on some of these characters. So here's the thing, if you really want the best you can get for you know cheap bootleg price, you're going to have to get both sets and pick the characters you want. Um, you probably keep both of these because you know it's just an ice walkers or whatever they're called so you know the zombie army so you can have more than one but all the other characters you're gonna have to like give it to someone else or, or, or trade them or whatever uh so yeah but if you're only gonna get one set get the poker one because there's more characters and the, you know the quality is, is is good enough uh but if you really want like the few Game of Thrones cats that you have to be the best that you can get for this price, then you're gonna have to get both sets and do a little pick and mix between both uh, both versions. And, you know, even her with her fabric piece, that's m way more durable than the Pogo stuff. So yeah, get get both sets then. Subscribe to Justin Card below and of course take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.